What's up guys, Clouded Journey here, and this is going to be my last video, at least for a very long while. For the past two weeks, life has been a bloody hurricane for me, in a good way. Uh, I have been working for a long time at uh, getting a different job, and it's finally come through, and I have been offered the job uh, as an RCMP officer uh, in Canada. It's a police officer position, which means I get to go to Regina for six months, uh, do some pretty hardcore training and uh, hopefully get through that okay and end up becoming a police officer. So uh, very exciting. I've been working on this for like two years. Yeah, and it's been a very long process and everything. So it's excited to get in. Uh, but forgive me for not being very active the last few weeks. Uh, I've been friggin' running all over the place, finishing up on my old job, getting everything done because I don't trust the people uh, who will be taking over for me, trying to set up as much as I can so that they'll be all right. Um, getting the house moved because my wife will be moving in with her parents. Uh, a lot of things like that. So we have to move, get all this stuff packed up, storage figured out, all these things. Plus, uh, stopped off in Mexico for a week because I already had that planned and figured I might as well do that anyway. So now I'm in total haywire mode as I try to get everything going uh, before next week when I leave for Regina. Regina is kind of like uh, Canada's Hawaii, basically. So it's not a bad place for training. So I'll be there for six months. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel. Uh, you know, I've been dropping sweet, uh, sweet deals since the beginning, showing you how to hustle, hopefully teaching you guys a few things here or there. Uh, probably not, but you know, it's been a lot of fun. I don't have very many friends who read comics. I had one friend who actually got me into comics. He took off to Japan. So it's just me and you guys. So without you guys, uh, it'd be pretty lame collecting all by myself. So at least you guys make me feel like I'm not a total loser, at least some of the time. So thank you guys so much. Uh, guys like Johnny DaCosta, Greco Fabulous, Damien, Sleepy Reader 666, uh, Mike Vinkru 12,000 hasn't been around for a while. So many guys, so many people to name. Uh, both the Kingpins, all you guys. Uh, I should make a big list up because uh, you guys have been so awesome. So many people have watched a lot of my videos, commented. There's all these new guys showing up now. Uh, yeah, really, really great community. Awesome support. You guys have heard it all before. You know how awesome everybody is. Yeah, so without you guys, you know, my collecting, I'd probably have a lot more money in my pocket because you guys, I watch your videos. You make me want to buy stuff, uh, make me build my collection. You teach me things. I learn lots from all you guys. So, Hopefully I'll be able to continue the hobby when I'm done. You know, the other thing with my collecting is I've got to a point where I have so much of what I want in terms of uh, some of the, the more minor mid-grade keys or mid-level keys that I just, there's not a lot left that I really can go out and hunt for. Like I can go, I go out and hunt every once in a while and I find some good deals and I flip those, but I've been finding I can flip video games and stuff even easier than going out hunting comics. So uh, you know, I'm always on the hunt, but I have so much of what I need and just the, the first appearance sort of market key issue market has skyrocketed. It's harder and harder to find a lot of this stuff, uh, in sort of your regular haunts cause everybody's looking for it. My collecting's kind of been changing. I, I read a lot of modern books and I've been starting to look for more heavy duty keys. So I did pick up one major grail. Uh, I wouldn't call it a holy grail, but definitely a grail major book I've wanted. It'll be at the end of this video. Uh, gotta go on a bit of a bang, you know, so check it out. Here it comes guys. Uh, thanks so much for your support and, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Hopefully I'll try my best to be somewhat paying attention to different videos and stuff going on. See what's going on. Hopefully the community does well without me. I'm sure they will. I trust you more than my coworkers. So, all right guys, take care. We'll see you soon. Right, let's get into the haul portion of this video. Uh, continuing to straight slay it out in the world here. Uh, this is quick one I just want to show off. This is a record, kind of like a large CD. This is Michael Jackson, Off the Wall. Really the album that put him on the map as after the Jackson 5 type stuff. Super, super awesome album. This case is in really great condition. It's got some minor wear on the bottom and stuff, but it's still got the wrapper on the inside. Disc is in really nice shape. Uh, the record itself, so yeah, awesome, awesome. I'm a big Michael Jackson fan, always has been, and it's nice to see him before uh, he sort of had that major decline. He looks uh, so good here. He's still got a nose and all that. I got that out of thrift store for 10 bucks. so uh, just a quick show off. 
I do collect a few vinyls here and there if it's something I really like, but they're few and far between for me. Finally got my hands on these. This is Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. Uh, so the second print set was a lot of our sketch variants of famous J. Scott Campbell covers. So I'm not sure how far along these came out after uh, the original Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. These have been going up in price the same way as uh, the main series has. It's not as expensive, but they definitely have risen. When I first started looking at these, uh, I like someone had them for like ten dollars each. Or eight dollars each, and I like made it with or best offer, and I made an offer of like five, and he didn't take them, uh, and then they all sold. So uh, since then, yeah, they've been just going up and up. So I got this whole set for fifty dollars shipped. So yeah, I was happy with that. They're all near mint, and they came in mylar, which is a nice little touch. So this is uh, number one. So this I love this cover. It's like one of my favorites. Uh, this is there's a Siege number four variant. I think it's a very expensive variant if you can find it. Actually, the original cover, but Deadpool just going gangster. Uh, number two, I don't know what this issue was from, but it's Wolverine in Deadpool's uh, costume. Number three, rocking the MC Hammer outfit. He's got like Thor's hammer here and the big clock and all that. I love it. See, I like rap music and stuff like that. I'm into hip hop culture and that kind of stuff a little bit. But uh, I like the ridiculous nature of it. I it I find it sort of funny a lot of the times. I don't take it too seriously. So uh, I, I this sort of represents that perfectly. And then this, I think, was from a, when the Avengers versus X-Men. So it's all the villains taking bets on who's going to win and stuff. So and Deadpool's taking taking all the bets himself because he's sort of somewhere in between good and evil. So yeah, awesome set there, guys. Keep your eyes out for these ones if you can because they're uh, on the rise. All right, and this is uh, my last uh, haul video got cut off. This was from my half off sale. So some amazing Spider-Man books, two uh, hundreds and three hundreds. They generally go for about ten bucks for decent condition around here. So. I never want to pay that for individual issues. It just gets really expensive. So, uh, yeah, five bucks for this one. This is Amazing Spider-Man 208. And this is just a great era of Spider-Man. Uh, 274. Soul of the Spider. Uh, 207. Yeah, these stories, they're just, they're all really, like, well-contained. A lot of them have new villains and stuff in them. I can't remember who the writer was on this run. But uh, yeah, he didn't want to use all the like classic rogues galleries. So uh, yeah, he he uses a lot of new villains and things like that. And they're all sort of interesting and different. Oh yeah, the big wheel. I remember this from the amazing the Spider-Man cartoon show with Rocket Racer. Really awesome cover there. Love it. This is like so Spider-Man. This I love it. It's so red. And of course, Stegron, the Dinosaur Man. Uh, amazing Spider-Man 165. I've been listening to this podcast. It's called uh, The Amazing Spider Talk. I definitely check. If you guys are Spider Man fans, I definitely suggest you take it up, check it out. They do their own essentials uh, reviews and stuff of some of the issues, and they also do all the modern stuff. So I don't really read the modern stuff too much because I don't like Dan Slott, but uh, it's fun to keep up on it. It's a really good podcast. They're pretty even even minded, and they have different opinions and stuff. And just it's really it's pretty good if you're a Spider Man fan. Uh, this was Deadpool number one, the sketch variant. I think this is from the current series. I'm going to take a look inside. I haven't even looked inside. I was, I was assuming it was the new one. It is kind of scuffed up and stuff. So, but it was, uh, so 675, so half that, so three, whatever. Uh, so yeah, it'd be fun. I, I've got to get to a con and get some sketched and get my own because uh, it's. I think it's a really cool idea. All right, more Miles Morales stuff. I uh, really want to get this whole run. This is, uh, I think this is Deadpool here, The, uh, but this is uh, Ultimate Spider-Man number nine. And I don't know, because the original Deadpool was a girl in Ultimate Spider-Man, so uh, i got to check this out. Is it? I can't remember if I read this or not. Oh, I'm tired. Sorry, guys. Life's friggin' kicking my ass right now. i got so much going on. I want to have more energy for you. All right, here's some more. Those are just some basic stuff, guys. Sorry about that. Let's get into some good stuff. So, uh, Also from my store, this is uh, Showcase number 75, first appearance of Hawk and Dove. This is a really interesting team. Like, they're sort of 
taking both sides of how you deal with conflict and things and do you use violence or not. Uh, so it, it's sort of an interesting way to write a series, I find, where you have uh, two sides of a coin, sort of. But uh, And like I say, it's sort of a different take or a different idea in the superhero world. So I always like those kind of things. Um, the grade is, I don't know, VG, VG plus, maybe Got a fair amount of wear and stuff around. This has been in my store for a while. I think it was priced at $40 and I didn't want to pay that much. So I think I got it for 20. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Gorgeous cover here. This is a Steranko cover. It sort of looks like your standard bronze age cover in a lot of ways. Like it doesn't have sort of the classic Steranko isms where it really stands out, but still really, really beautiful cover. Love the motion, the danger, the fear, the action. Very kinetic cover. Uh, all the animals and everything. And like Sheena or Shanna, the she devil, just looks really sexy and awesome. Uh, and this is her first appearance as well. So I got this nice high grade copy. It's like a VF VF plus copy for 20 bucks shipped. So pretty hard to beat. First appearance, beautiful Bronze Age cover, Steranko cover, uh, sort of checking off a lot of the boxes for me. So, all right, what else? The Brave and the Bold, number 57, guys. Bring in Elemental Man. What a cool character. Awesome power set. Super interesting. A lot of different unique things you can do with this character. Uh, he is kind of underutilized in the modern age, but I'm not a DC fan, so maybe he pops up more than I know of. Uh, so I got this uh, for, it was sort of like a poorly photographed one, but I, I got a pretty good idea of what it, what it looked like. Uh, it was sort of like a dimly lit photo, which is sometimes almost better than like, sometimes what they'll do is they'll have really bright, highly like they add color to the photo and stuff and you get disappointed when you see it. So uh, no, it was pretty nice. So it has like some ticks and stuff. But the kicker is when I got to near the middle of the book or three quarters into the book, the uh, story is disconnected at the top staple. So uh, the loose staple in the middle of the a few of the pages. So that was pretty rough. So I emailed the guy about it. He did sort of the classic, okay, well, what can I do for you to make this right? And I think I just looked at the grade and said, well, the highest grade it could be with that is like a VG. I think that's right. I don't know. So like the VG guy price is this. So, so he gave it, so he gave me a big refund. So I got this for 25 bucks shipped. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, it's not a character like I'm super passionate about or anything. The book has to be perfect, presents really well. Uh, it's got a minor issue on the inside. That's fine. Uh, great price for a good book. So yeah, very happy with that. Okay. More modern books. So this is one I was looking for, for a long time. Uh, a while back because you could used to be able to find these for cover price easy and they're just they're all gone now I couldn't can't find them anywhere so this is Captain America number six first appearance of the Winter Soldier this is the variant cover with Bucky on the cover so there's a Captain America one and then there's Bucky uh, and the the set I guess used to go for about 35 for both of them uh, I couldn't I, I've been because I've wanted to get a few things just clicked off before I left I've been not slaying deals like I always do. I usually like to take more time and uh, find a book on auction for a low price and I just set my bid and if I win it, great. But uh, So I bought this one for 35 bucks for this book alone. But uh, with Civil War and everything, this book might be going up a little more. I don't know. Uh, I just wanted it, so I paid for it. I got tons of PayPal money I got to use up. So um, yeah, super pumped. Uh, freaking Captain America 2. Captain America is not a character I care that much about generally, but that bloody movie, man, was so awesome. It's probably my favorite of all the Marvel movies, and Winter Soldier was done really well. Uh, it's just a really awesome character. Uh, I'd like to read this whole arc because I haven't read the, the actual arc because I love Brubaker. So I got to get the rest of these issues. But uh, yeah, so if you guys know, I don't know, is it just a 50-50 variant for this one? Because I couldn't see, couldn't find, I kind of quickly looked it up, but I couldn't find the print run on this versus the regular cover. So I'm guessing it was just like a 50-50. But uh, if you guys know, let me know. Thank you. This is going to be the final book of my channel. Maybe forever. We'll see. This is a major key that I've been wanting for a long time. Um... Prices on it are pretty high these days. It's one of those ones like it's just the market, man. The market's been going up for so long. So as you watch these, you always hope to get one a little bit cheaper, but then the prices keep going up. So it makes it harder and harder. But this book is giant size X-Men number one. 
First appearance of Nightcrawler, Colossus, Thunderbird, Storm, uh, Magic is in this. It's uh, Colossus' sister. What's her name? Ileana, who is really cool, but um, she's not actually as Magic. She's just uh, his sister in this. Uh, the whole new X-Men team that started that awesome Claremont run. Um, yeah, just so much awesomeness in this. Also, second appearance of Wolverine, obviously. Uh, Nightcrawler is my favorite X-Men. I just love that character. He's, to me, he's super underutilized. He's a great character. A lot of nuance to him. A lot of things you can do with him. Uh, just such a cool idea. Super righteous guy who looks like a demon. Everyone sort of judges him. So, not a perfect copy. Uh, it's a... I don't know if you can back this thing up. It's a CBCS 6.5. Um, the biggest issue you can see is that little rip right there on the cover. Pretty brutal. And then it's a little bit faded on the edges and stuff. Got some browning, just general discoloration. Uh, off white to white pages. The back is not bad. Some little marks and stuff on the top. But yeah, the reason I bought this one slabbed, like I don't do a lot of slabbed books, but I just wanted a book I was sure wasn't going to have any restoration in it. So it doesn't guarantee it, but it helps quite a bit to uh, reduce that. So I might crack this open. There's also, I don't know if you guys have had this problem. Shout out to my man Omega XIIV Omega 13. You can see right here, it's glued here, but this glue came off. And a little ball of glue, when I bought it, was like stuck in here right in the middle. So it was like inside the freaking plastic. And I was like, that's something long term. Like that glue probably isn't too good for the book. So long term, that could actually cause some damage. So uh, what I did was you could kind of, you can pull these things open amazingly far, actually, without breaking them. So I pulled it open and I was able to slide a piece of paper in there, just uh, jimmy it out of the way and uh, get it up like it's up in this corner here somewhere now. So... Totally off the book, away from it. Couldn't get it right out, but it's out of the way. It's not touching anything. So uh, it's kind of funny the idea they slab these books, but then stuff can still get in there uh, and cause some ruckus. But yeah, so another major book checked off the list. Very exciting. Uh, I've been trying to score some other books like fast, but everybody's so bloody slow, so I couldn't get them in time. And that's going to be it for six months or so. So I don't know if I'll be making videos again after this, guys, because my life... Uh, my career, this is going to be probably next level. I'm going to be super busy, probably significantly more stressed out than I am these days. Uh, so hopefully I can keep collecting and I can keep following you guys on YouTube and everything. I'm sure I'll be watching because, uh, you know, you can become a cop, but you can never stop being a nerd. You know what I'm saying? So thanks guys so much again for your support. Uh, take care, stay in touch and God bless all you guys. We'll catch you later. Peace out.